hello hello queens it's your girl kanisha with currency queen budgets in this video i will be breaking down my paycheck for april the 7th 2023 if that is something you're interested in stay tuned All right, guys, before I jump into this, I just wanted to explain to you that I am paid on a bi-weekly schedule. I am breaking my paycheck down into videos and cash stuffing every week. So this video will be a breakdown of the first week for April that I will be breaking down and then I, the next video I will be cash stuffing. I am a zero-based cash budgeter, so let's jump into this video. All right, so we are going to be using my Queen's Budget by Paycheck. This book can only be found on my website, which is www.currencyqueen.com. Go ahead and head over there, and um, you will find better prices than you find on Etsy, just because Etsy do charge us to um, use their website. So, yeah, go by and check it out. Um, but we are going to jump right into the first week of April. How has everybody been doing? I hope everything has been going well. All has been well on my end. Um, but you guys know, first things first, I'm going to write in all of my categories and I will be right back. All right, so I did adjust my camera at a different angle. That way you guys can see everything and it's not a little bit blurred. So we are going to write April up here. And then this is for April the 7th, 2023. And I have all of my categories filled in. But I am going to write in for my work. I am going to take $740. And then from Etsy, I'm going to use $128. And the total for this breakdown is $740 plus $128 gives us $868 to work with. $868. All right, so for my credit cards, this go around, I'm not putting anything in credit cards. Todd's isn't getting anything either. For my card notes, I am going to do $150. For my insurance, I'm going to do 80. Um, let me see if I need to zoom in just a little bit so you guys can see. Okay. For my cell phone, I'm going to do 85. For my utilities, we're going to do 100. Rent isn't getting anything out of this check. Subscriptions is getting 15 and student loans will be 25 all right let's add that up so we do 150 plus 80 plus 85 110 25 so it gives me a total of 440 455 dollars i'm sorry So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this $868 and subtract that $455. $868 minus $455. $868 minus $455. Okay, that gives me $413. So going into my variable expenses, I have a total of $413 to 
start with. So for groceries, I'm going to do $100. For my gas, I'm going to do $85. For household, I'm going to do $20. Um, spending is going to get its normal $20. Eating out, um, let's do $30. Medication, I am going to do 10 and beauty will get 20. Let's add that up and see how much we have. So I get that gives me a total of $285. So now I will take this 413 and subtract it from 285 and that leaves me with a total of $128 and that $128 I'm going to put over here in my savings challenges. And I'm just going to write this 128 here. And the total for this box is 128. And that 128, I didn't write 128 here. So then I will take the, let me zoom out just a little. So then I will take the 128 that was left over from my variable expenses and roll it over here. So that 128 minus this 128 leaves me with zero dollars left. So that what makes me a zero base cash budgeter. I'm going to zoom back out just a little. Okay, so this is what we are working with for week one of April. So the next thing that I will do is I will go to my cash stuffing tracker which is the next page and i will get everything written in and i will be right back all right so as you guys can see i have everything filled in and i will explain this sheet as well so this has the payday up here i've written in all of my categories and my amount so the purpose of this form here is to break down your denomination in your bills when you take it when you go to the bank so you can cash stuff each envelope so here i will just go through and i will break down into which bill that i need for each envelope and i know that sounds like i'm repeating myself but i did <laughs> So what I will do for uh, my car note, I'm just going to do one 100 and 150. For my insurance, I'm going to do a 50, a 20, and a 10, because it's 80. For cell phone, we have 85. So I am going to do 50, 20, 10, and a five, which equals 85. So for my utilities, I'm going to do 100. For my subscriptions, I'm going to do a 10 and a five. For student loan, I'm going to do 20 and a five. For my groceries, I'm going to do 100. No, I'm not going to do 100 for my groceries. I'm going to, I'm just going to scratch that out. I'm going to break it down this go round and I'm going to do 50 let's do two 20s and a 10 so for my gas I'm going to do two 20s that's 40 two 10s is 60 Four fives is 80 and then five ones which totals 85 I'm gonna zoom in a little 
Okay, I think that looks a little bit better. So for my household, it's gonna get just this normal $20 bill for spending. I am going to do two tens. For eating out, let's do three tens. For medication, we're gonna do one ten. And for beauty, let's just do 120. All right, and then so we will move into my savings challenges. For my savings challenges, I think I just want to do, let's see, 128. Let's do 320s, which is 60. Four tens is 40, so they give me 100. Let's do four fives and eight ones I guess and that gives me a total of 128 so what I do now is I move to the bottom but I'm not going to I'm not going to add in I'm not going to tally up my savings challenges because that comes out of a different account, but I'm going to do um, do it different. But this is how you would actually do this. So I'm just going to tally up up here because I am using two different accounts. So I'm just only counting this part to go down here. And then I will do this separately. Okay, so the next step that I will do is I will go in and I will tally up each and every one of these. And as you can see, my savings challenges, I'm not going to tally up that total into this because it's already tally up and it's going to come from a different account. So I'm just going to tally up um, my bills and my variable expenses. So um, I just wanted to explain that just in case the numbers seem a little bit off to you. So for my 100s, I am going to do, let me move this out of the way so I can scoop my book up just a little. Okay, so my for my 100s, and I can zoom back out on this so you guys can see the whole page. So my 100s, I'm going to do two. So we're going to go down here, and for my bill quantity, I'm going to write in two. For my 50s, the same thing is four. For my 20s, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. No, I don't because I'm counting this. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then for my 10s, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. For my fives, I have one, two, three, and four. That equals seven. I have zero for my $2 bills. And then for my ones, I have five. And as I explained earlier, I'm now counting my savings challenges because basically they are already in the denominations and they will be coming out of a separate account. So what I will do is go and get the right amount, so 200. So two times 100 equals 200. Four times 50 is 200. Nine times 20 is 180. 12 times 10 is 120. 7 times 5 is 35. And 5 times 1 is 5. So let's add that up to make sure we have the correct amount. Um, and this will be a total of $740. So let's do 200, 200, 180, and 20. 35 
and five. So that gave me a total of seven hundred and forty dollars. Now I will go back and make sure I have the correct amount here, um, which is three times twenty, and that gives me sixty. Four times ten, and that is forty. Four times five is 20. And one times eight is eight dollars. So let's add that up. 60 plus 40 plus 20 plus eight. Leaves me with $128 for my savings challenges. Now I hope that wasn't too confusing um, for you guys as far as getting that tally up. If it did confuse you a little bit, just drop it down in the comments. This is my first time doing it this way. And I would try to figure out a different way to get this done because I'm all, I'm doing it from two separate accounts because my Etsy account which my savings challenge is coming out of my business account so that's why we're doing it in um, two different ways I did not set aside uh, cash stuffing for my savings challenges but that's something that I may incorporate later on in uh, my budget binders i can do it you know in four different sections or five different weeks and that way it'll make more sense I, I may think about doing that but that is it for this video i appreciate each and every one of you that stopped by to um check this video out if you have not already i would appreciate you if you hit that like and subscribe button hit that notification bell so you are notified every time i upload content you don't want to miss anything and also leave me a comment of what you think about this video but you guys know i want you to budget i want you to hustle hard budget hard and pray harder be blessed queenies bye